Let's talk about uh, permeability. Now, the symbol is the uh, mu, the Greek letter U, and it's the measure of magnetism that a core can obtain in response to a magnetic field. The greater the magnetic permeability of a core, the greater the inductance. Now, the relative permeability is given by the ratio of absolute permeability to the permeability of free space. And for air, the permeability is, is one, okay? Now, just to review some magnetic units, magnetic flux, that's the magnetic lines of force, magnetic circuit, that's the path taken by the magnetic flux. Weber, that's a unit of magnetic flux. Uh, magnetic force, MMF, that's a force that establishes magnetic lines of force. And reluctance is stylized R, that's the magnetic resistance. The lower the uh, reluctance, the, the more magnetic flux can flow. And permanence, that's stylized P, and that's the magnetic conductance and the ability of a magnetic circuit to establish a flux. So we're going to take a look at some toroids. We'll start off with the, the powdered iron ones. These are, these are powdered iron, and those are made from fine insulated particles of iron compressed together. Okay, this, uh, this one here, this red, and then the backside is just clear. That's a um, number two, and that has a, a permeability of 10, okay? And this, this number 26 here, this one here, yellow and white on the back, that has a permeability of 75, okay? So uh, these you can use for a little bit higher uh, frequencies than the, the red ones here. And we'll, we'll test the uh, inductance of these. And then we have this, uh, go down to the ferrite mix, now composed of iron oxide and one or more metals, zinc, nickel, magnesium. So the formula is, is M is metal uh, plus the uh, iron and oxide. Now those, the, Levels of iron oxide can be different with these numbers on the bottom. So nickel ferrite is NeF, uh, Fe2 and oxygen 4. And magnesium ferrite is uh, magnesium uh, iron oxide. Now, this uh, uh, mixed blue-green one here. Here it is, your green on this side, blue on this side. That's the same as the yellow one. Same permittivity as the yellow one, but it's uh, made for higher frequency. And it's made out of um, nickel zinc. So it's got nickel zinc and iron oxide in it. Okay. And then they have um, above this one, you got 31. I don't think I have one of those. 73 and 75. Uh, those are uh, all above um, a permeability of 850. Okay. So, and those are usually magnesium zinc and uh, iron oxide. So, what we're going to do is we're going to measure these and see, check the uh, inductance of, of these cores. They all have the same size wire and uh, 15 turns in all of them, okay? Now, these two cores are different sizes, so that would make a difference, but these are all, all the same size. So here's a tester here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, you see that? And let's start off with the uh, red one. So that's 10... Um, it's got a permeability of 10 and there it is there uh, 2.6 okay uh, that's in micro uh, Henry's so same size core same amount of turns on it higher permeability we'll see what happens here Okay, this is also a powdered iron core. We have uh, 17.2 microfarads, quite a bit higher than that one. Same turn, same wire, just a different core material or different mix of that iron, powdered iron. And this one here is the uh, uh, ferrite core and it's uh, nickel zinc. But it's got the same permeability as the uh, the yellow one does, so we'll see. It should be around the same. Yeah, seventeen point five, a little a little higher. All right. So that that worked out. The, these have the same permeability, so they're about the same. And uh, this one permeability is down to ten. These are seventy five. And. This blue one here, I don't know what it is actually, but we're going to test it.
it's got 14 uh, micro henry's and then I have a same size core but in black same amount of turns and that one's 23 so this black one must have a higher permeability than the blue one so next time around we're going to uh, test these and work backwards and see if we can find out the uh, the perme permeability of the uh, of these units without knowing what it is from the spec sheet okay because I have a green one here that we don't know what it is and these here we these are uh, out of units that I don't know what they are but we'll we'll determine what those are and we'll mark down the permeability form but that's uh, that's permeability and uh, you know that's how we uh, we can we can measure the uh, inductance there and get your inductance right now these are all frequency uh, based too so this this meter here I think it only puts out one one K but uh, of uh, frequency but uh, some of them will, will get a higher frequency so but anyway that's uh, permeability and uh, thank you